Texas won't have a Starship launch monopoly forever as SpaceX has been building Starship's first Florida launch pad, including preparations for the off-site assembly of a second skyscraper-sized launch tower. Incredibly, only three months since SpaceX began stacking that tower, the teams have now completed it. There'll be a lot of work to be done with the Florida launch pad. However, Elon Musk recently revealed he's planning to start shipping Starship rockets to Florida from South Texas next spring. Welcome back to Alpha Tech. Let's hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and that way you get notified whenever we post a new video. Now let's get started. On September 1, 2022, photographer Greg Scott shared some amazing pictures of a new and fast construction at SpaceX's Roberts Road on Mons flyover. He also confirmed Starbase building and high tower is progressing quickly and the top tower section is stacked. The new launch pad tower will eventually reach 400 feet in height and potentially host two dozen Starship launches each year. It'll become the second tallest rocket-related structure along the eastern coast, with only NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building, or VAB, being taller. A similar structure currently exists at SpaceX's facility at Boca Chica, Texas, where the 469-foot-tall launch and catch tower is currently being put through test. Besides the tower, the chopstick arms themselves can be seen with the rails already installed. These will be needed in order to stack and catch boosters at the pad once. Importantly, thanks to Zach Golden, he found out the ADS-30Q drawworks used for lifting the chopsticks up and down the towers being prepared for installation on the Pad 39A tower. This was removed from Deimos and sent for an overhaul, currently awaiting transport to the launch site. He's also pointed out that it appears they're preparing to install pistons and gas springs on the new chopstick landing rail. It's now highly unlikely these are for lifting purposes only. So SpaceX will not catch boosters with this tower, but the question is, how will Starship land? In fact, seen in the picture, from giant cranes to maybe signs of a new tower being built, in other words, SpaceX is preparing to build a second KSC SS launch tower. Structural steel for the third orbital launch integration tower has been arriving rather quickly at the Roberts Road facility. Anyway, I'd love to have the third tower's location confirmed by SpaceX. Two towers definitely make for a faster launch cycle. And another incredible bit of news, the first booster at 39A will transport to Florida in the second quarter of next year. Probably Q2 next year, with vehicles initially transferred by boat from Port of Brownsville to the Cape, Elon Musk said Wednesday in response to inquiries via Twitter about launch timelines and locations. This is something to truly look forward to. But while Musk suggested Wednesday that the first orbital launch could be from South Texas, the possible transfer of Starships raises new questions about the future of Starbase. He's long promoted the compound as the gateway to Mars, the site from which the company would launch astronauts to the moon and the red planet. But as the private space company continues regular launches of its smaller rockets from Florida, where it's also building a Starship launch site at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, area residents and others say it's likely Starbase's focus is shifting to research and development and away from launches. Past and current employees of SpaceX speaking on condition of anonymity to discuss the company's plans have also said South Texas is no longer seen by Musk as the gateway. This is easy to understand as he waded through multiple delays earlier this year in completion of the environmental review, which was required to begin launch operations at Boca Chica. Musk himself hinted he would set his sights on launching Starship from Cape Canaveral. We do have the alternative of the Cape, and we actually applied for environmental approval for launch from the Cape a few years ago and received it. Musk said this during an event at Starbase in February. He estimated it would take from six to eight months to build up the Cape Launch Tower and launch from there. The FAA concluded its review in June, issuing a finding of no significant impact from orbital launches at Boca Chica, but the agency said it would require SpaceX to take more than 75 actions to mitigate environmental impacts before issuing the operator license needed to launch. After all, Starship launching from Florida would be appropriate in many aspects. First. Here's a site that's the historic aerospace industry. It fits perfectly with the meaning of future SpaceX flights. With SpaceX, 39A is hallowed spaceflight ground, no place more deserving of a Starship launch pad. Tom Engler, Director of Planning and Development at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, said that he thinks the SpaceX plan is really exciting. 
If you look at the history of the launch pad, this is probably right in line with how it was meant to be used, Engler said. To us, it's really just kind of a reaffirmation of the thought process of why that pad was built to begin with. Launch Complex 39A has historic significance because it is the same location from where Apollo NASA astronauts lifted off atop the Saturn V rocket on a voyage to set foot on the lunar surface. Pad 39A also supported space shuttle missions up until its retirement in 2011. SpaceX is leasing the launch complex. It is from where Falcon 9 launches crew and cargo flights of the International Space Station. The company already has permission to make modifications at Pad 39A to support future Starship missions. A launch pad at the Kennedy Space Center will likely support crewed missions to the moon under NASA's Artemis program, which aims to create a sustainable presence on our closest celestial neighbor. NASA selected SpaceX to develop a Lunar Optimized Starship Human Landing System, or HLS, to land the first woman and next man on the moon by 2025. SpaceX is working on a tight schedule to have a space-ready launch system by then. The next reason is related to the current launch pad status in Texas. Musk previously said he's confident Starship was successfully conduct an orbital flight in 2022. Engineers at the Starbase facility are working to prepare the prototypes that will conduct the first orbital flight test at Boca Chica. But as we said before, the final permission is still vague. Once complete, SpaceX will possess dedicated Starship launch facilities in both Florida and Texas, although there's a strong chance that Pad 39A will be ready to support orbital launch attempts well before SpaceX's Boca Chica launch site is certified. Or, in the worst-case scenario, SpaceX Starbase Texas doesn't receive FAA approval. The SpaceX launch pad at the Cape will be ready to launch the Starship flight. Lastly, this marks the renewal of work on the Florida launch site for the Mammoth rocket, as he pushes SpaceX to perform as many as a dozen Starship test flights next year. This will also have important implications for SpaceX's long-term development plans. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Please don't forget to share your ideas in the comment section down below. Everyone supports motivation for us to create more quality content. And for that, we thank you so much and hope to see you next time.